Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Dave coming to you from the dog yard here in Southern Maryland. It's a Tuesday evening around 7.30 p.m. It's been raining here pretty much all day and pretty steady from noon to about an hour ago. I honestly thought this was going to be a front porch edition, but it's it's uh, begged off enough and I need to get the dogs out and let them run around for an hour, hour and a half. Otherwise, it'll be lunatics tonight. So tonight I'm smoking the Perdomo 30th anniversary. It's uh, one of my honorable mentions. It's uh, not my top 10. It's a great cigar, but I think the Perdomo Champagne 10th Anniversary is a better cigar than this one, if you can believe it. That's my mouth. That's my top 10 list. Yours can say anything you want. The 30th Anniversary did not make my top 10. It made my honorable mention. I've got a bunch of them. i got a box of these, so they're in a... Top of door, they've got the Oviedo pack, they're treated like all the others. They're just in one of the white containers instead of the big black ones. This is why I have to come out here. They've got to get this out of their system. They're a nightmare. There's Chance being Chance. Finn and Sasha doing what they do best. I don't think. Echo didn't come out. She ran out here, but ran right back. Hopefully these two run around and do this for like an hour. All right, that's enough dogs. So it's 70 degrees out right now. It's super humid because it's been raining all day, but you know, it just feels a lot better. It's a little bit cooler out now that the night time's coming in. The sun's gone to bed. Got a tiny touch of breeze. It makes it nice out here. The house feels a little stuffy inside right now, but that'll clear out as the night air gets in and the fans pull. We have fans that pull the night air into the house, so it'll be good in an hour or two. Kind of interesting. Really, it's three more days, and then we head out for uh, the Wyoming. So, um... That's Anne Marie getting home from the farm. Chance! It's mom, you idiot. My majestic moron. Barks at mom just like he barks at the Amazon guy. And now he's teaching Finn to do it. There's a perfect burn for you. Even all the way around. Nice white ash. Looks really good. I don't know why. A couple of days before the trip, I start to get a little bit nervous or, I don't know, I don't want to say sad, but, you know, home is a great place. The paddock is a great place. I finally got it basically completely finished. Now I've got these tiny little straightening projects that I'll always have. And then as soon as I get it done, I get it running just the way I want. I roll out for two months. But Saturday morning, we'll be on the road early, early. So it poured rain on the fire for two days in a row. So the fire is not out, but it's looking uh, really, really good. It's not really growing in any way anymore. And they're really statusing more as mop up clean up and final containment so i think the, i think without sounding too arrogant that the fire risk is over they're allowing us to drive through it again so hopefully by saturday or sunday i can drive through it may not be anything to see at that point but anyway the fire status is about as good as i could hope it could be so that's nice to have hopefully that stays that way and we have that one behind us so i had a good day i got nothing to complain about we had a good day in the market. So my trading style is it moves from just day trading egg futures to day trading and the Johnny Bravo options trading. The options trading is much slower. So rather than me entering day trades and an hour or two later rolling out of them and having to watch them uh, for several hours, 
the Johnny Bravo, the options trades I enter, and sometimes I sit in them for for a week or two. Even some of them are still, you know, still going on. I cleared a couple of them today, so I have it set up so when I enter the trade, I put an automatic. As soon as it makes thirty percent, I get out. So, you know, as we'll see how that does. But thirty percent a day or thirty percent in a couple of days it seems like pretty good money to me. As I learn the system and become more mature in it, you know, I may manage the exit point and exit upon the chart telling me through technical analysis to get out versus just a flat 30. That might actually increase the ROI. But because about half of my trading is now options instead of day trading, my days are a little bit slower so that and I get to the paddock, I leave the house at 8.30, I get to the paddock at 8.40. And I get everything set up, you know, and from uh, 9 to noon is sort of my trading window, but it's a little bit slower now. So I'm enjoying some pipe tobaccos. You know, I did the, uh, I read to you the introduction to the Catholic, uh, Catholic Bible that I'm reading. You know, I did the uh, completion of the Tupperdor project. I just have a little bit more time for stuff like that now. And then by 1 or 2 o'clock, I was done. I'd done everything I wanted to do. I'd done the weights, done a couple of little paddock projects, was done. So I came home, and uh, I watched the Grand Tour final episode. You know, I've been a Top Gear fan for 25 or 30 years. So to go from Top Gear to the Grand Tour to watching the final thing these guys are going to do together. That was a little bit sad, I have to say. You know, um, I get it. Go out on top. You know, they can't get any better. But it was still very weird. You know, I enjoyed the show immensely, by the way. But it was weird when it was over to know that was over, over. Um, so that's what I did this afternoon. Then Amory Amory made me a great dinner. She had to run over the farm, so I did all the cleanup for her. And I like to do that. I like to take that burden off her when she allows me to. I've said on camera a few times, she does all the cooking. So if I figure, if I do all the grocery shopping and all the cleanup after the meal, I feel like I'm carrying my end of the log a little bit more. And then while I was cleaning, uh, cleaning the kitchen, the... Rain gave me a window, so out we all came, and uh, I get to spend an hour with you guys, enjoying a nice cigar, sitting out in my dog yard. Hey, every night it gets a little too dark at the end. Like right now, it's actually darker, way darker than it looks in the camera, and these iPhones are unbelievable at picking up ambient light. But every night, I, the bats come out up here, and so last night, after the video was done, I was sitting here. I tried to capture. I got a few seconds of bat video that I'm going to put here and um, hopefully you can see them but they come out every night we've got a uh, we've got quite a family of them I'd say there's at least four or five out here every night just over this field and every now and then if you're super quiet you can hear them squeaking but most of the time it's dead silent But that would be kind of fun to see if I can show them to you. Wow, it's really getting dark out. I don't know if I can lighten this up or not. Yeah, a little bit. So the only really thing I want to talk about is biblical history. I'm becoming a uh, a little bit of a freak about it. I love not the history as it's represented in the Bible, but the history of the creation of the Bible itself and the evolution of the Bible as we know it today all the way back to Christ's time. It's pretty messy history. It's pretty good for about 1,400 on to today. But 
from Christ's death or from about the year 100 to to about the year 1400 it's pretty messy and um Potter Piper has helped me identify some books to read about that time frame but you know the time frame from when Christ told Peter upon this rock I'll build my church to Pope Francis today <clears throat> <clears throat> That's a pretty long legacy. So anyway, I'll just as I learn more about that, I'll probably make more videos about it. I mean, reading the intro, the introduction, and and um, and every Bible that I read helps because every introduction gives its own history, which is kind of good. And then. Um, as I find out the Bible that preceded that Bible, I always try to buy it. So King James, and it was preceded by, I can't, Gideon, I can't remember. But I, I just got it. It's got here today. I'll show it to you tomorrow. So I'm sure there's a Bible that precedes that. And uh, from what it was come from, I'll buy that one. And, um, you know, as what we'll walk backwards through biblical, the history of the Bible together over the next few years. So. Yeah, I'm in the fourth read of my Bible now. I'm in uh, year three and a half. And um, I'll probably read this version in the next six to nine months, depending on how much time the Apocrypha take and how much time reading the annotated notes um, of the New Testament take. But uh, we'll come together on that adventure because a lot of you seem interested. A lot of you act like you know all about biblical history so it'll be interesting to have those conversations as as i find out facts and dates and things see if it challenges anybody's beliefs that is a topic topic i truly enjoy reading about studying understanding talking about i really do enjoy it so that's um <clears throat> that's pretty fun so it'll probably come up from time to time on these videos. Well, guys, it's uh, it's darker out because it's overcast. Uh, I was a little late because of the rain, and so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and end this tonight. So, hey, one thing I said I told you that I say every day that has really helped me in the last week, and that is, I say it every day out loud. So I'm gonna say it out loud to you tonight. I cannot accomplish anything without God. I cannot know anything without God. I cannot learn anything without God. I can do nothing without God. I must avoid overconfidence and arrogance. And those sentences I say every morning and sometimes two or three times throughout the day, and it really has helped me. So with that, guys, we're going to end the video. I hope you had a good Tuesday. I hope you have a good week in front of you. May God bless you. May he turn his ear towards your prayer. May he make his face shine upon you. And may he bless your life and the lives around you as he does mine. We'll talk again tomorrow on Wednesday, everybody. See ya.